78% of people, you know, have errors on their credit reports. So that's huge. That is, that is very huge. It's a, it's a huge number. And to me, that, that is unacceptable. So that's why I am here. I want to help impact, empower as many people as I can with their credit. Welcome to Expanding Wallet, home for empowerment. We create content designed to help you take control of your money and your future. My name is Andrew Clark, and I'm the founder of Expanding Wallet. Today's guest recently spoke at a Las Vegas event and is a very dynamic individual. He's a father, an entrepreneur, a motivational speaker, a credit repair specialist, and a life coach in the making. Today, we are going to focus on how he helps people with their credit and what motivated him to become a credit repair specialist. It's my honor to introduce you to my friend, Marcin Waptrinsky. Thank you for having me on. I really appreciate uh, for having, having me on. And, and, and it's a pleasure to share my knowledge with others and help them with their credit. With their credit. Absolutely. So let's, uh, let's jump right into that. What, what was it that you know, motivated you to become a credit specialist? You know, like, honestly, um, two years ago, I went through a divorce. I um, been very happily married for 15 years, been with my uh, ex-wife for 12 years. I have two beautiful children, a uh, 10-year-old son and six-year-old daughter. And two years ago, just my whole life just fell apart. And it was very hard. It was very devastating. I have lost my family. I, I basically have lost myself. And I, I, I felt like a failure. I, um, mm -hmm. life just have completely given up on me. It, it just like, I have felt on my knees. My, I lost my home. I lost my children. I had nowhere to go. The only wow. place I, I wow. had to go was my parents' house. So here I am 35 year old man that doesn't have a place to go only his parents' house. So I was very angry. I was very upset at God. I was very angry and upset at everybody and myself. Like, why me? Why, why did this have to happen to me? I am such a good person. You know, I go to church. I am very positive. I, I pray. I, I have been such a good husband. And why did this happen to me? I just, I just couldn't believe that, that this actually happened. I got divorced. I don't, I don't believe in divorces. Divorces don't happen in my families. But, you know, at, at that moment back then, I didn't know what happened. Now, you know, two days later, I, I fully understand what happened. I understand God's plan and things like that. So I, when I was so angry and so upset, and I, I told myself that this is not me. This is not who I am. You know, I was like in this dark place, very, very dark place. I, I hit the rock bottom. And that wasn't fun. It, it just I didn't know deep inside of myself that. I could be that we can have so much like anger, so much frustration towards ourselves and towards the other person that, you know, it, it, that, that, you know, did, did that to you, you know? And I had this feeling inside of me that there was, there was this, this light or a glimmer of light or something like this feeling that there is so much more. And I knew, I knew that this is a God's plan. I knew that he has a wonderful plan for me. So I trusted him, trusted him. And one of my mentors, Les Brown, I, I love his quote when he says, you know, when you fall, when you fall, make sure you fall on your back. Because if you fall on your back, you can get up. And I love that quote. Too. So when he, when, when, when he, when I, I really understood that quote, you know, like when you really fall and if you can see up, then you can get up. And I told myself, you know, like at that point, I have to do something with my life. Because, you know, living at your parents' house, living paycheck to paycheck, that is not fun, especially with child care, child support. It's super expensive. There's, there was no way for me back then to even afford the rent. There is, there's no way. So it's very difficult and it's, it's, it's embarrassing to be a 35 year old man living at his parents' house and unable to afford or even rent. So I told myself, you know what? I have to change my life around. You know, working full time as a production manager, I, I told myself that, you know, like after work, I'm not going to just come home, sit on a couch, 
watch TV and just waste my life because I knew that I had so much more in me. I knew that God has this plan for me because I'm always about helping people. Right. So I, I, I started, you know, I told myself that, you know what, first I have to work on myself first in order to help others because how can I help others if I cannot even help myself? So I started, you know, working on myself physically, emotionally, and spiritually. You know, I joined gym. I started reading books. I started listening to motivational videos. I, I even hired a mentor. And that was the best thing that, that have happened in my life. You know, I switched my mindset. Yeah, and, and I, I want completely... to just highlight that for a second, too, because I always talk about that same thing that, you know, if you want to change your external reality, you got to start from within, right? And then when you change from within, externally will eventually manifest itself. So um, I can already tell that, you know, you're definitely on that right path. So keep going with that. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and, and I was, I asked God that, hey, I'm searching for something. I needed that second opportunity. I needed some kind of other second stream of income that will help me, you know, with, with, with that child care, child support. But it's, it's, it's very, very expensive. Let's, let's not kid ourselves, you know, it, 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 it costs a lot. It costs a lot to, you know, to support, obviously, these are my children, things like that, which, which uh, I have no problems paying and things like that. And uh, so what I did, I kept searching. So I went to one of the networking events here in Chicago. And uh, I have partnered up with, with my, one of my business partners at, at the moment that we're connected together. And I talked to him and I told him that, you know what, and that I am seeking for opportunities. I'm like, because I know that he's involved in so many different industries and he always does different things. So I asked him that, hey, you know what, I'm very open, open-minded and I'm looking for opportunities where I can help individuals you know and and he's like you know i am i am a loan officer i work with a lot of people i help them with repair their credit because you know many people you know have many issues with their credit report and things like that and he started talking to me more about it. i'm like wow that, that's pretty interesting tell me tell me more you know i never knew you know about credit repair companies you know i was originally born in poland i came to united states when i was 12 years old so all that stuff was new to me so you know, we met a couple of times. He explained to me the process. How does it work? How, how credit companies work, you know, like with credit and things like that. You know, always throughout my life, you know, when uh, obviously when I came to the United States, uh, I had an excellent credit score. You know, I, I built up my credit score really good. I didn't have any issues like, you know, with late payments, bankruptcies or anything. Um, so I knew that, you know, the importance of having a great credit is amazing because you know right now these days is 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 super important like everywhere you go you know you want to leverage your credit because you know how many people these days especially during covid and, and things like that that uh, people have lost their jobs it, it's just so hard just to pay bills pay on time and right. people right. you know they, they need to buy a home they need to buy a car they need to go get a loan and now without that credit if you don't have the, the credit you know, not many people, you know, have money just laying around where they can just, you know, dip into their savings and just go, go buy things for cash. So that was one of the reasons when he told me, like, how many lives he him impacts, you know, like how many people he helps, you know, buy their dream home, buy their dream car and things like I'm like, you know what? I'm in. This is yeah, what I want to do. I want to I want to help people out there, because later on, when I looked at the statistics and 52 percent people in the United States have a fair or poor credit rating. So that's around 600 to 699 credit score. And I'm like, that is mind blowing. And then I looked at it a little bit more and 78% of people, you know, have errors on their credit reports. So that's huge. That is, that is very huge. It's a, it's a huge number. And to me, that, that is unacceptable. So that's why I am here. I want to help impact, empower as many people as I can with their credit. That's an amazing story. And um, I just love how, you know, you were knocked down, but you were like, how can I first work on myself, build myself back up, and then even make some life changes to where you're going to bring some positivity into your life by doing what you love by helping people. So, and I mean, with all the things I listed, I can obviously tell, you know, a motivational speaker, now trying to be a life coach, you clearly definitely enjoy helping people. Yeah. So, you know, credit, credit repair is one of, one of my uh, niches that I love helping, you know, uh, I love helping also I'm building, uh, I'm working also on a consultation business to help divorced men and women get through the divorce. So that will be part of it because I know that many men 
many women that are going through a divorce, their, their credit is getting impacted a lot. Absolutely. And that's where I come in and, and help them as well. So yeah. it's, 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 yeah. it's all God's plan. I'm trusting his process. And, and, and this is, this is a reason why I'm here. He, he put me, he put you uh, on this uh, show right now to, to help others. That's, this is, this is our calling. He has chosen us to, to do this for other people. So, yeah, yeah. We definitely share that passion for helping other people. I wanted to ask you, uh, so tell us about that Vegas event, because I know that had to deal with um, credit as well. So what was that event? And then what did you speak on at that event? Yeah. So in Vegas, uh, it was in May. In May, I went to a mastermind. It, it was called the Next, Next Gen Business. So Travis and Minky, they, they are the business owners of um, that mastermind that they put the uh, mastermind together. So what I went there is speak about credit. So basically, there were many entrepreneurs and business owners. So I went in there and spoke about how they can leverage their credit to help them grow their businesses, to scale their businesses to the next level. 82% of new entrepreneurs, uh, new business owners, they use their credit cards, personal credit cards to build their business. So that was one of the things that I spoke about. Yeah, that's really important. I think uh, definitely at some point making that move from your personal credit to business credit is going to be huge for, for any business really. Um, especially, um, if something were to happen, you know, and you need extra capital, um, being able to separate those two is, is going to be great to be able to do. So let me just, uh, dive in a little bit deeper then. And, and also, I'm, I mean, that sounds like an amazing event by the way. Uh, so um, did you have fun there in Vegas? And oh, I did. I did. It's, you know what, you know what, Andrew, is I, I love going to events and connecting with like-minded individuals. Absolutely. Where we can help one another. You have individuals for from different types of industries, and, you know, you always learn something from them, and you can also educate them about, you know, your, your industry. Yeah, so that's what I was going to say. I mean, the networking alone must have been, you know, amazing because you're around, like you said, like-minded people. Um, to be able to just share ideas and then, you know, plans for the future. So that positive, that just that positivity alone, I think um, a lot of people, sometimes they, they lack that, but if you can surround yourself by that, that, that alone will elevate you. Oh yeah. It's, it's, it's an incredible experience. Sometimes words cannot even describe, you know, like um, people that uh, are very successful that have already been there, that have achieved their goals and they're very humble, very humble. And it's a very, nice to actually speak to them and, and ask them certain questions, get close to them, you know, and ask them about, you know, all the obstacles, all the struggles that they went through. Because obviously this is a journey, you know, that we are on and, and we learn from it. It's, 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 you know, it's not always sunshine and rainbow, you know, you get knocked down, you know, it's, it's you have to have, you have to have this goal. You have to have a purpose. You have to have a determination to get up there because you know if, if small obstacles obstacle shows up or something knocks you down you're gonna give up and you're gonna quit so yeah. this is part yeah. of you know it's it's so wonderful to go there and and gain that experience from them and how they were able to cope you know with all their failures that they have experienced and what built them made them stronger to become get to the point that they're they're at right now yeah absolutely that's mm -hmm. huge so let me let me go back to kind of the credit Let's say, let's say I was a regular person. I give you a call. How, what's kind of the process that you take me to take me through in order to help me uh, improve my credit? So what we do, so the company that I'm partner up with, it's called Credit Cleaner. So what, what I would do with the process is I send you my link and you fill out the link for a free consultation. So at free consultation, you'll get a call back from a credit repair specialist and what we're going to do is we're going to do a full analysis of your credit report and see what's, what negative items you have on your credit report that is pulling it down. You know, because by Fair Credit Act, you know, you, uh, we can help you remove items that are, you know, inaccurate, erroneous, absolute, and things like that. So, you know, like if you, if you ask a person right now, when was the last time you, you checked your credit score? You know, hmm. do you even know what your credit score is? Those are some of the basics. Do you even know where to go and, and, and pull a credit score? Where do, you, where do you get those? So those are the things that we would do 
go over with you and we'll, we'll be able to tell you, yes, we can do this for you or no, you cannot do this for you. Either you qualify or you, you don't qualify. And what I really like also about the companies that I partner up with is because I have been also with other credit repair companies. So there's two ways of doing things because the way the process works is um, when you go to a credit repair company is uh, the company that I was with before, they send you the dispute letters and then you verify, make sure all the information is correct and you have to mail them into all the credit bureaus. With this credit repair company, what I really like is uh, that they do it all for you. You don't have to worry about anything. You have a website or you log on and you go and you just monitor and see, you know, which, which, which credit bureaus, what is your score and then what negative items you have and then what is being done, which items are being removed, and things like that. So this is this is what the process will look like. Okay, perfect. Yeah, and I, I really like that part about uh, they take care of it for you. Um, yeah, I feel like my time these days is so limited that if I was in that situation, yes, I would definitely um, probably be giving you a call. So I want to um, just talk, let's just actually touch on, let's just touch on this. What What are like, you know, if you could say like, what are some of the big benefits for credit? And I, I know a lot too, so I might chime in with a couple of mine, but I'll let you start. So as we know, credit score, what is credit score? So we know it, this is a bargaining chip. This is a bargaining chip where, where you go, whether you get approved or you get, or you get the, denied for your loans. You know, you'll get approved, but you know what? Interest rates, interest rates you'll get if you have low credit score. Let's say, for example, I'll give you one example. So let's let's talk about uh, average home in the United States. Let's let's go with a three hundred thousand dollar loan. You go you go get a three hundred thousand dollar loan for a thirty year thirty year loan, right? So for example, let's say you have a um, six hundred twenty credit score. You'll get, you'll get a loan, right? So now with that six hundred twenty credit score, that three hundred thousand dollar loan for a thirty years is going to cost you let's say fourteen hundred dollars estimate, fourteen hundred dollars, right? Now let's let's go and go get a loan with a 720, 740 credit score, same amount, three hundred thousand dollars loan for thirty years. So now you're talking about let's say eleven hundred, three hundred dollars. So over thirty years, thirty years, you're talking about hundred and one thousand dollars of interest that you're just spending. You're just wow. throwing money wow. away that you can invest. So it's it's huge. It's huge. You know that's why I tell people. You know many people look at the credit repair as an expense right but they don't look at the long term you know like if if, if you look at the uh, uh interest rate how much you will pay up front you know it, it's going to cost you probably it's going to pay itself off within a month or so whether when you go get a loan on your home and things like that. so that it's huge you know it's just like look at how many people these days rent you know what what, what do the landlords look at they look credit. at your credit score, right? Whether whether you're gonna put a huge deposit down or they're gonna waive your deposit because on good credit. You know, yeah, I was credit gonna credit cards. I was gonna throw that one in, and um, as person, as someone that owns rental property, I just was gonna say, I mean, that's that definitely does um, play a factor in there. Uh, so so credit is definitely important in multiple areas of your life, uh, even if you own a home, right? If you own a home and let's say interest rates drop and you want to refinance, right? I mean, there's a whole bunch of different factors, um, you know, where it can play in. And then even from an investor standpoint, um, you know, there's, there's certain moves you want to make as an investor. And when you can leverage money um, because you have good credit, it really helps out a lot. So um, there's just many, many, many different benefits to having um, good credit. And, you know, it takes some time to build, but it's really about having, um, one, having the understanding, and then just two, executing on those good habits on a regular basis. Well, definitely. You know, one, one example I'll give you as, as a homeowner, you know, uh, let's say your AC unit or your furnace or something goes up, right? And now you have to replace them both. You know, on average, what's it called? Eight, nine thousand dollars to replace the whole combo. Okay, now come out with the eight, eight, nine thousand dollars. Come out with it, right? If you don't have that much of money, so what do you use? You know, now here comes financing. You know, you 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 need to borrow money. You know, yeah. you want to finance, but now here yeah. here comes your credit. So whether you're going to get approved for two, three percent, or you're going to get ten or twelve percent, so that is huge with over five years and things like that. So that's why it is it is it's 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 credit plays a huge role in every aspect in our life, everywhere we go. Everywhere, you, you know, your, your, your car insurance, why do they ask about credit, right? Your cell phone, 
everywhere, everywhere. That's why it's very important to, to have a good credit, to have a good established credit career. So that's why we are here, that we will help you, give you the tools, we'll educate you how to build the credit, improve the credit and maintain it. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I mean, those are all great. So just keep all those in mind, guys, when you think about, you know, improving your credit and the importance of it. And one thing you mentioned, Mar- Marchin, that was really important was more of the long-term thinking. Uh, and that's one thing with Expanding Wallet that I really want to stress about is, you know, a lot of my success came from being young, but thinking many years ahead, like five, 10, you know, even 20 years out, you know, and strategizing and planning um, from even like as young as 15. So uh, the, the farther out you think uh, you think and plan, I sometimes think that's also better because um, we can make a lot of short-term financial decisions that can actually hinder us in the future. So um, once again, thank you for sharing all that. And I want to let everybody know that Marchin and I are actually going to put on an event uh, talking about credit and we're going to share with you, you know, how you can improve your credit, how you can leverage your credit and even be like your own bank. So uh, that event is going to be, let's see here on Wednesday, July 21st from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Central Time. And so I'll put that link, the registration link in the description below. So make sure you sign up for that as soon as possible because spots will be limited Uh, You will have the opportunity to also come in there and ask some questions. So um, definitely, if you want to improve your credit or even just better understand how you can use your credit and leverage it, uh, definitely come to that event. Um, I got one thing for you, uh, Marchin. I actually got a gift for you. Uh, Just for you. Yeah. I mean, for you coming on and taking the time to share with the Expanding Wallet community, um, I want to just share this with you. It's uh, it's an Expanding Wallet t-shirt. Oh, awesome. Says, well, thank you. Yeah. Learn, believe, grow. It's a big motto for the company. And uh, I mean, really, it just represents taking control of your future. And I mean, that's what you did when you were at home with your parents and, and you just said, you know what, I'm not going to settle for this. And you took control of your life, you know, and that's powerful. And that's really, you know, the ultimate message with Expanding Wallet is to really empower people, you know, take control of your life, take control of your money, take control of your future. Thank you for having me on, Andrew. Appreciate it. Yeah, I really appreciate it. And then for everybody listening, um, I actually have something for you. Um, I also put it in the link below. But I mean, if you feel like you're not living up to your full potential in life, one of the things that I did was I wrote what's called, uh, I call it the five keys to success guide, but I really reflected back on my own life and how I transformed my own life in many areas. And I broke those down into actionable items that you can do on a daily basis to transform your mind, honestly, and and your outcomes will change. And so if you want that guide, um, it's in the link below. And, uh, you know, what I say is, you know, life will knock you down, but having a guide to get you back on track will help you succeed. And so that's really the purpose of that guide is to always be able to get back in that rhythm, in that flow, that's going to really Uh, elevate you to the next level. And lastly, um, you know, just want to thank you again, Marchin. And I just want to say to everybody, you know, remember to learn all that you can believe in yourself and take actions that allow you to grow.